This video will cover topics associated with general and process safety. The video was created by Austin Fanning, Brandon Peterson, Enos Duran, Natalie Cassie, and Marissa Stoner for their process safety course. The topics to be covered in this video are forklifts, labeling, filling up a gas tank, ladders, and fire drills. Each will be addressed by giving examples associated with general safety as well as process safety in the chemical process industry. Workplace injuries happen every day, from a paper cut to losing a finger. One of the largest causes of workplace injury comes from a common piece of machinery that is used every day, forklifts. Forklifts are the cause of almost 100,000 workplace injuries per year, with 85 of these injuries being fatal. Forklifts are rear steer vehicles designed so that turns are made sharply to handle tight spaces. Due to this and improper training, these fatal accidents usually involve the victim being crushed by the forklift by either it tipping over or crushing the victim between the vehicle and the surface. To reduce the risk of this, OSHA requires that all forklift drivers be properly trained, drive and take turns slowly, and keep loads as low to the ground as possible so the driver's view is not obstructed. By having forklift operators properly trained by these guidelines provided by OSHA, the amount of forklift injuries can be significantly reduced. Labeling is an important part of both general and process safety. An example is when I was home from college and I went to go pour a glass of tea. When I smelt it, I realized it was an alcoholic drink. It was margarita mix to be exact, and the drink itself looked very similar to tea, so I had no idea. This issue could have easily been fixed with either marking out the label or taking the label off the tea, and the drug should have been indicated that it was margarita mix. In process safety, the labeling of equipment and chemicals is even more important. The wrong chemical being labeled could lead to a number of disasters, such as fires, explosions, and toxic releases. Here are a few common labels that the chemical process industry uses. Safety data sheets are used for detailed information pertaining to chemicals. Each chemical on site should have an SDS on file at the plant. Employees of the plant should be familiar with the chemicals they are working with and know the hazards associated with them. The National Fire Protection Association diamond is also used in the chemical process industry as a quick label for employees to look at at the plant. It indicates the hazards associated with health, fire, stability, and special cases. Each is indicated from by a number of 0 through 4 on the diamond, with 0 being little to no hazard, and 4 indicating that the material is very hazardous. The special hazards are indicated with specific symbols. Labeling is an important part of the chemical process industry, as it keeps employees in the surrounding community informed and safe. Have you ever heard of static electricity? Static electricity is an incident that can happen when two objects or substances come in contact with each other and are then separated. It especially represents a serious fire danger at retail gasoline outlets. If the motorist returns to the vehicle during refueling and the first point of contact happens to be the middle fill point of the dispenser nozzle, the spark may ignite the surrounding fuel vapors and cause a flash fire or a small substance fire. In fact, the electric charge responsible for the static fire is generated by friction between the person's body and the seats. Here are some safety guidelines to reduce the risk of static fires. The first step is, is to turn off the vehicle engine to avoid the generation of sparks. Then, avoid re-entering the vehicle while refueling, reducing the potential for any buildup of static electricity. If the motorist cannot avoid getting back into the vehicle, it is essential to touch something metal with a bare hand. Third, do not smoke or light matches, lighters, while refueling at the pump. And then, finally, if the static fire occurs, leave the nozzle in the fill pipe, back away from the vehicle, and notify station attendant immediately. As long as gravity is still in effect, falls are possible. According to the National Safety Council, 
Falls are the third leading cause of unintentional injury-related death. In some industries, it is the leading cause of death. When using a ladder, make sure there is a locking mechanism to keep the ladder open. Never step on the top rung of a ladder and do not reach or lean while using the ladder. Make sure the ladder is on level ground and doesn't wobble. Have someone support the bottom of the ladder. The risk of injury while using stairs is greater while descending the stairs than ascending. Handrails should always be used so you can catch yourself if you stumble. Stairs should always be taken one at a time, not skipping any. Meet Tom. Tom is a worker down at the plant. He's worked a long, hard day, and it's finally time to head back home. It's been a long week, and the malfunctioning fire alarm in his complex going off every night hasn't helped. One more day, though, and it's the weekend. That night, sure enough, he's woken up again by the alarm. Is there a fire, he thinks, in his drowsy state? Surely there isn't one. It's gone off every night this week and nothing. I'm not getting up and missing out on my sleep again. With this, he puts his earplugs in and goes back to sleep. Little does he know. He's woken again, but this time it's by the smell of something burning. By the time he realized it was the building, he couldn't escape. This tragedy would have been avoided had he evacuated when he first heard the alarm. This shows how important it is to pay attention to alarms even if they appear to be malfunctioning and to always be prepared for emergencies. It's better to be safe than sorry. The topics that were covered in this video were safety associated with forklifts, labeling, filling up a gas tank, ladders, and fire drills. While each of these are very different topics, they're all significant to safety both at home and the chemical process industry. From our safety course, we learned about the hazards associated with these topics and many others that will occur in our daily lives. As engineers, we learn how to identify, quantify, prevent, and eliminate hazards through applying our knowledge of safety and the chemical process industry. Thus, we hope you learned something about safety in this video and that you can apply it at home, work, or any place you may be. Thank you for taking the time to learn a little more about safety.